everybody, it's Juanita McDowell, and today I want to show you how to do a mail merge. That's right, I want to send out emails, about 139, and I want each one to say, Dear Bob, Dear Sue. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to go to Mailings, Start Mail Merge, and you want to do an email message. So just let the system know that's what you're trying to do. Select Recipients. I'm actually going to select from Outlook Contacts. Okay, that brings in the contact records from Outlook, and you can actually see which contact list you want to use. I'm going to use that one and say OK. And now I have all these contacts that I want to mail merge. What I'm going to do is I'll go through. There may be a few that I do not want to use, and if that's the case, just untick the box. Make sure there are no Gap. So if I'm planning to use a first name, I want to untick a box where I don't have a first name. And likewise, I want to be I want to make sure that all the company names are there. Because what a mail merge is, is you're using specific information about each record. So I want to say, okay, that looks good. And now I want you to type up your letter and as I have done, leave placeholders where you know you want to insert a field. So I have a field that I want to insert here. I'm going to go to the mailings tab again and this time I'm going to insert a merge field. I want the first name right there. Make sure your spacing looks good. If you need to, go to the home button and use the paragraph. I want to make sure that I don't have any double space. Okay, and there I have found an error because I want the comma to go right behind the first name. I'm going to come down here and you can see I have another placeholder because I want to identify the chamber by name and I'm going to go ahead and insert the mail field again so mailings insert field and this time company will go there and sometimes again I like to look and make sure I don't have any extra spaces everything looks good alright so I'll untick the paragraph box and I am ready to take a look at this let's go back to mailings and as you can see we can preview I want you to keep your eyes on the preview results. Come down here, you can see once I tick preview results, there's a name that appears. And I can go all the way back. And I can check this against my list. Because down here, the company name changes. Macon County goes with Jimmy, go right. Leah goes with another chamber name, Liberty County Chamber. So you can see how easy that was. I'm going to go ahead and finish and merge and I'm going to say send email message and I'll go ahead and tick that and I'm going to give it a subject line we tend to forget that so I'm going to say iPad for business in 2014 I'm going to say all records and say OK and when I say OK it will start sending just want to show you that tip I hope that was helpful if you enjoyed this tip I definitely want to make sure I invite you to a webinar, a free webinar we're doing January 17th, 2014 from 2 to 3 o'clock EST and it will be great Microsoft Word tips. Again, we're focused on teaching you how to be efficient using technology for your business. So we're going to make sure we cover not just mail merge but labels, receipts, invoices and other tips that you need to know to save you time using Microsoft Word. So please join us again. That will be on January 17th, a free webinar from 2 until 3. I have provided the link below. Thanks for watching.